Hey guys. Okay, so for this video, we're going to start talking about how to write up our results from our ANOVA test. So as a refresher, ANOVAs, they have to have more than two groups. Um, we're answering two different questions. First step that we're going to look at, is there a difference between the groups? Second step, where are the differences if there are significant differences? So in our class site, um, I've provided you a drawing conclusions page. And again, feel free to copy paste this. We have two options, phrasing results that are significant, phrasing results that are not significant. Okay, looking at our Excel data, which one are we dealing with? We have significant results. If we look here, less than 0.05, there are significant differences. I'm gonna go to our class site. And I'm gonna copy this whole blurb and I'm gonna paste it um, just kind of over here. Make this a little bigger. And shrink this up so it's not quite so overwhelming. Okay, so again, let's just take this sentence by sentence. We computed a one-way ANOVA comparing final exam scores of subjects who took a course from one of three different instructors. Okay, as I mentioned in my last video, what did we do with this data? We have three groups based on study hours looking at exam score. So we computed a one-way ANOVA comparing exam scores of subjects who spent three different amounts of time studying per week. Okay, next sentence. So basically first sentence you're stating um, independent variable, dependent variable. Next sentence, a significant difference was found among the instructors and then our um, gobbledygook before. Now it looks kind of like a t-test, but it's just a little different. So again, with our shorthand, the F for F, F um, stands for the ANOVA. Again, we have to tell people what test we're doing. Um, then the degrees of freedom goes here in the bot in the uh, parentheses. Now I mentioned before you're going to need both of these degrees of freedom. Okay, two because you know you have three groups, so your degrees of freedom is going to be two. Twenty-seven because we have thirty people total, so we're going to change that. And then here you fill in your F value. Our F value eight point eight. We'll say P is less than 0.05. Further analysis revealed that students who had instructor one scored lower, and then there's my mean, then students who had instructor three, and there's the mean for that group, students who had instructor two were not significantly different from either of the two groups, okay? So this sentence, a significant difference was found, is basically answering the first step. Is there a difference between the groups? You have to answer that. If this is a yes, you have to say where. Further analysis, okay, remember down here, with our t-tests, group one and group three were significantly different. Remember, group one and group two were close, but no cigar. So group one and group three were different. Further analysis revealed that students who studied five hours per week scored lower, right? We know that from the averages. 6.6, .6. then students who studied 20 hours per week, and then you put the mean for that group, 1.6. Okay, so we also had a difference between group two and group three, a significant difference, right? So we have to state that here, so we have to add a sentence. But I'm going to be kind of lazy and just copy this part and put it here. And I'm going to state students who studied this students who studied 10 hours 
per week, scored lower, put their mean, than students who studied 20 hours per week. And then last, we want to state where there were not significant differences. Students who studied five hours per week, and again, put our mean here, were not significantly different from students who studied 10 hours per week. So we've covered all, all of our information that we need. We've answered the question, is there a difference between the groups? And then we've given a bunch of detail about where the differences are. Further analysis revealed that students who studied five hours per week scored lower than students who studied 20 hours per week. Students who studied 10 hours per week scored lower than students who studied 20 hours per week. Students who studied five hours per week were not significantly different from students who studied 10 hours per week. So again, we're summarizing this and we're summarizing our t-tests. And that's how you write up um, the drawing conclusions.